All right, guys, it's a beautiful day here, and I'm kind of done for the day in the shop, so we're going to pull this 68 convertible that we drug back from Nebraska out and try and see if we can get it started. Um, I'm going to hook the truck to it, pull it out, because i got to get this car off this trailer so I can get the frame to my convertible into the body shop, get started painting on it. So I need this trailer. So I've got it untied all the way around. I aired up that one tire back there that was flat. And I drug around, or I drove around, this old wood truck that I got here. We're going to rob the battery out of it. And then we're going to put it in here. And I'm going to try to figure out how to set one of these gas cans up in here because they've already got that uh, gas line coming up from the fuel pump. And hopefully we can dump some gas to carburetor with a good new battery and it'll start up and drive off that trailer. That's what I'm hoping. So let's get her hooked up to the trailer and see what happens. All right, guys, I got you standing in the back of the truck on a tripod. I grabbed the gas can and set it here. The first thing I want to do is I got this starter button here so you don't have to be in the car. I'm not going to turn the key on yet. I just want to see if it turns over. Actually, the battery posts and cables both look pretty clean. I just twisted them down on there. So, let's see if we can get this hooked up. Uh, pull the solenoid starter trigger wire off and put this on it. All right, here it goes. Well, it turns over. I'm going to turn it over a little bit and see if we can pick up a little bit of oil. Alright. There's no wing nut on here. So... Set that there. Put this down. gas can. I think there's a couple gallons in here. And I want to dump some gas in it, but there's not. The choke is wide open, or closed. I need to get it open. I ought to be able to hold it open. Let me turn the key on. We got an oil and an alternator light. Now I'm going to dump some chainsaw gas down in here. See if we get any fire. Hope we don't catch on fire. The 
he's on, so let's see if we get anything. Well, it's not picking up gas yet. But that didn't sound too dang bad. I'm hoping this thing will run back it down off the trailer. sure this thing's down in here. Yeah, it's submerged. I believe. pump may not be any good from sitting. Sure don't have very long to, or very far to pick that gas up. Well, we know it runs, so I'm going to pause it and see if I can figure out what's going on here if the fuel pump's not picking up any fuel or what. Well, I just decided to try it one more time and it took right off. So it's picking up fuel and this freaking engine sounds great. No smoke, sounds awesome. It does have a brand new exhaust on it, which ain't gonna do us much good. Apparently a turn signal works, it's on. Let's see if we can kick down that fast idle. Yeah, see, I told you, I think that carburetor looks new. Let's see, we got to hook our starter trigger wire back up to the solenoid. We'll get this thing out of here too before it falls off and I run over it. Now let's see what happens when we hit the key. Uh oh, it didn't start right up.
Well, I don't know if it's flooded or what, but that battery is getting low on me. Well, I'm gonna go get the booster and stick on here. And I don't know if it's flooded. Let me go get that booster and put it on here and see if we can get it fired back up. I want to get this thing back down off this trailer. Okay, I hooked this booster up to it. Let's see what it says. 12.6 volts. Let's see if it'll start without putting any more gas in it. I got the ramps out too so we can back it off. I'm going to dump a little bit more gas down in there. I smell gas because I got gas cans everywhere. Hopefully it wasn't flooded. Says it's putting out 13.3. So let's see if I can get it to idle back down again and get it back down off here. Well, that thing seems to run really good. It spit out through the carburetor once on me when I was trying to kick it down, but heck, the brakes feel great and everything. We got forward and reverse. 
let's um, see what we're putting out. Thirteen point three, thirteen point two. Not putting out quite what it ought to, but boy, don't that thing sound great? I wonder if the top works. Let's roll these window down, see if we can put the top down. I don't think these windows been down for a while. As far as that one's going for now. I don't want this top boot to get caught on anything, which I don't think it will. I don't know why that's still hooked up. put this back over here just in case this thing does go down you guys can watch it I've not even touched that top button since it's been here it hasn't had a battery in it This one We've got a nut off somewhere. This thing goes Let's see. It's coming out of the top piece. Let's see where that other side is attached. It's this one. So it goes up here, I think, no, yeah, it's this one, somehow it gets attached, I see it over there now. Let's just turn it off before we run out of gas. tripod to set back up over here. Need to find a, a nut for this thing. This top caught around here. 
It's this bow. Let's see the other one. See how that other one's in there. This top bow is on the inside. And there's that nut. So that piece goes on the outside. And this goes through the outside. Man, these top frames are heavy. Let's see, yeah, that piece over there is on the outside, so that's why we've got a problem here. That goes through there like so, I think, and then this one goes on here as well. I'm gonna have to get that out a little. And we've got this bushing that's out of there somewhere too. So there's a nut missing, but there's a parts car over there. Well, I'm not worried about this top anyway, to be quite honest with you. I just wondered if it worked. Now with that back in there, the way it is, even with a nut off of it, let's see if it'll go down now like it's supposed to. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. Let's try running it back up. See if that bolt stays in there with no nut on it. Works just like it's supposed to. I just need to find a nut for that. It didn't quite settle down in there all the way like it should. It didn't stack properly that time. It went down all the way just like it's supposed to. Portable top boot. I wonder if that thing will snap on there without ripping. Actually, you're supposed to have some foam here, and you're supposed to close these little hooks. I'm not going to try it right now. You can tell it hasn't been snapped on there for a long time. But, at least now, I've got it off the trailer. I can back it there in the shed where it was and I can use my trailer tomorrow to get the frame over there to the body shop for my convertible. I wonder if this thing will start up now. Yep, start right up. See, the brakes are great. They don't go down to the floor or nothing. Sounds like we got some front end stuff clunking. 
reverse. Something's making a lot of racket. Hear that? Sounds like we got some ball joints or A-arm bushings or something popping. I can't see anything right now. Let me get that booster and stuff picked up out of there. We may take it down the road and see if it shifts. No, well, I can't do that. I can't shut the hood. Not with that big gas can sticking there. Let's see if we got any sound. AM radio even works a little bit. Horn tries to work. Let's try the hideaway headlights. Look at that. I need a little help. Probably just needs lubed up. It don't look like it's any of this stuff's been used for a very long time. Shut them off, see what happens. I'd say if those were lubed up on the pivot points, they'd probably work fine. I really like these convertibles with these rear seat speakers. Makes it look real sporty. And mine's going to have power windows, so it'll even have a look better without that crank. All right. Let me get this battery booster off here. And might drive it around the yard anyway. I'd sure like to see if it shifts, but I can't very well go down the road with this sitting here. I need a lot longer gas line to set it in the back there let me get this unhooked and we'll figure out what we're going to do what do you guys think of this i think that'll take me down the road just a little bit probably not i don't like that let me hook it here all right don't judge me we're not going fast I want to see if we got any transmission shifts at all. Oh, let's go look at this trailer. This is where that old gas tank was leaking a little bit. Dripping. But look at this. That car's been sitting on there for how many weeks now, and there's not a spot of oil or transmission fluid or anything on this trailer. And I checked that oil before we started. It's full and clean, and it's full of water. So let's go see if it actually moves down the road. If it starts again. I was beginning to wonder. It's got some carburetor issues. Oh yeah, we got tilt. We can tilt the wheel down. A lot of popping and cracking going on under, underneath here. Hmm, can't see a damn thing. I can kind of see through the hood. don't really want to take off and go very fast with this hood like that. I 
I just want to hear, see if we hear a shift. I heard one. I think I'm pretty pleased. You hear that though when I hit the brake? Something on the front end's loose. I'm pretty pleased with this sucker. Geez, the brakes work really good. Definitely got some loose front end components. Man, this engine sounds good. I don't think there's anything wrong with the engine or transmission either one. I'll stop right here. There's the truck I robbed the battery out of. That's just been used this winter to move wood around. I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna put it back on the tripod so you guys can watch me drive around. Well, there it is. Car we drug home from Nebraska. Just took their word for it. But they sounded honest. I don't think there's anything wrong with that engine or transmission. So I told you that I would try to get it going. Let you guys see it. We need to get this undone and get the air cleaner and stuff back on it but it can sit here now while i use my trailer this week to get that frame hauled in there probably tomorrow so there's the green beast sticking out there and i started the black mercury yesterday too headlights are still down all right i got i'll let you guys know i'll keep you posted when it comes time to start selling some parts off here and, you know, I was going to tell you guys, too, I pretty much got attacked by a guy. I put this on that Galaxy group on Facebook, and he blasted me saying that this car was too good to part out, and it's a convertible, and once it's gone, it's gone. And I don't think he has a clue. I mean, I showed you guys in the video, and I, and I told him, I said, did you even watch the video? This whole quarter's been taken out. There's no way I'm starting on another one of these. But... Anyway, well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up. Put in the comments anything you want. And please subscribe. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Hey, you guys, check it out. One more thing. This radio is not hardly really picking anything up, and I wouldn't really expect it to in this shed. It wasn't outside either, but check this out. The rear speakers work. Hear that? front to back even the speaker fader works one more plus plus I'm seeing how this stuff is in really good shape it's not all pitted I can't believe that coming from the Midwest like that but this was a good find again thanks for watching please subscribe leave me a comment hit that thumbs up